In this series of videos, we're looking at projector screens. There are many options available of fixed frame and motorised, with a number of surfaces and aspect ratios. AWE now distribute Adeo screens. We'll look at their totally customisable offering to help you choose and tailor the perfect screen for your installation. I'll now pass you over to James for part three, where he'll be looking at aspect ratios. Thanks, Mara. There are multiple options of aspect ratio available in the Adeo range, but what is aspect ratio and how do you pick which is right for your installation? You've probably noticed when you watch a Hollywood movie on TV, you see black bars at the top and the bottom of the screen. That's because the film is in cinemascope. Movies produced using 35mm film were normally an aspect ratio of 2.35 to 1. Digital movies are slightly wider again, and standard TV and sports content is at 16 by 9 or 1.78 to 1. These numbers are the ratio between screen width and height. The larger the number, the wider the image will look. Let's look at some of the more common aspect ratios used in cinema and TV today, so we have a better understanding of which is right for your system. 4x3 or 1.33 to 1 is the old TV standard. I wouldn't consider this shape for home cinema screens as it's very square and will really only work with old analog standard definition TV content. 1.78 to 1 is the widescreen video aspect ratio used in HD and UHD applications commonly referred to as 16x9 and associated with 1920x1080HD and 3840x2160 UHD video resolutions. This is the shape of current TVs and TV broadcasts. From here, it gets a little trickier, and this can be a bit of a minefield. For all the following aspect ratios, if you watch them on TV, you will see those black bars at the top and the bottom. These wider formats are popular with content creators as they better represent the field of vision. You can check this for yourself by looking straight ahead and moving your hands until you can't see them. What you'll notice is they can get much further from left to right than you can up and down. 1.85 to 1 is digital cinema aspect ratio used in 2K and 4K applications, commonly referred to as DCI flat. Then you have 1.89 or 1.9 to 1, which is Digital Cinema Initiative's flat full standard. To be more accurate, it's actually the DCI SMPTE 1.896 to 1 aspect ratio, which is used in filming and post-production. Commonly referred to as DCI flat full container and associated with 2048 by 1080 and 4096 by 2160 video resolutions. The latter is the native resolution of commercial 4K digital cinema projectors and some higher end home cinema projectors like Sony's GTZ380. This is also the shape of IMAX enhanced content on Disney+. Just to add a little extra confusion, Netflix and others have started using the 2.0 to 1 aspect ratio for their content. These next aspect ratios are pretty interchangeable when it comes to perceiving their shape and can all be lumped into the category of scope or cinema scope. The name Cinemascope actually derives from a series of anamorphic lenses used to film movie content and started out as an even wider aspect ratio of 2.55 to 1. This full width was rarely used though, as a portion along the edge of the 35mm film was used for the audio track, making the usable space an aspect ratio of 2.35 to 1. Which brings us to the first scope format, the 2.35 analog Cinemascope, used with 35mm anamorphic film applications. 2.39 to 1 is Digital Cinema Initiative Scope, used in 2K and 4K applications, commonly referred to as DCI Scope. And the final scope format worth noting is 2.40 to 1, which is Blu-ray Scope. This aspect ratio is used for home consumer releases on Blu-ray, DVD and movie streaming services. So for home applications, the ratios you're likely to see are 16 by 9 for standard TV content, 1.89 to 1 for IMAX and full frame movies, 2.0 to 1 for Netflix, and 2.40 to 1 for Hollywood movies. To pick your screen aspect ratio, you have to know what you're going to watch the most. If it's mainly sports and TV content, then you'll probably want a 16 by 9 screen. If it's predominantly for movies, then a 2.4 screen would be the best option. However, you may still opt for a 16 by 9 screen if your room's quite narrow to maximize the area of screen. But if you want the ultimate home cinema experience, look at a masking option. In the Adeo range, we have two fixed screens with masking available. The Movie Mask LR, which has side masking, and the Movie Mask TB, which has masking at the top and the bottom. 
For more details on these masking screens, check out our first video in the series. Ultimately, whichever shape you go for is down to you. A Deo can make screens in any aspect ratio you choose. If you haven't already, watch the first two videos in the series to see what type of screens and what screen fabrics Adeo have in their range. In the final video in the series, we'll look at how the Adeo specification tool works so you can see how to create and customise screens yourself. Check out more videos below and support our channel by hitting the like button. If you want any of our latest videos, please remember to subscribe and check the bell icon so you'll get notified whenever our new content is released. Please leave any thoughts or questions in the comments section. Thanks for watching.